The bedroom adjoining mine has a super deep closet. It's the entire length of my room. And I thought to myself that it would be neat to be able to share the closet space between the room and the adjoining room. It's not a difficult project, just time consuming. I knew that the wall wasn't load bearing, as there is no wall directly under the wall, just the living room ceiling, and there's nothing directly above the wall, just the floor of the attic. To start with, I had to remove the trim from the bottom of the wall, both in my room and in the closet. The next step was to determine where to put the opening. That wasn't too tricky. I knew that I only wanted to remove one stud, so it was a simple matter of drilling some holes and finding the studs, and then measuring 16 inches to find the neighboring stud. I plan on putting some layer shelving in the closet, so I made the hole 16 inches away from the corner of the room to make space for the shelves. With a few pilot holes drilled, it was time to pull out the trusty jigsaw. These walls are lath and plaster, so I used a special blade designed for cutting it. If it looks dusty in this footage, it's because it was dusty. Like, super dusty. I was wiping dust off of things for a few days after this. I tried using a vacuum cleaner to help keep the dust down while cutting, but I'm not really sure if that did much good. I was able to take the wall out in chunks, which helped keep things a little cleaner, but as you can clearly see, it made a mess of things. I used my shop vac to clean up as best as I was able after the cutting was done. That didn't help with airborne dust, but it certainly did make things look nicer. This is the point where I was going to destroy my house if I would at any point, cutting out the center stud. As you can see, there wasn't even any pressure on it by the way it freely wiggled around after the nails were cut. I had to cut it on the top side as well, of course. I didn't want a tripping hazard getting in and out of the closet, so I had to remove this old plate. There were two 2x4s stacked on top of each other, which according to what I read is only needed on load bearing walls, but maybe 100 plus years ago when my house was built that wasn't the case. Either way I cut the sides with my recip saw and then pulled the boards out, revealing the subfloor. I reused the center stud that I had removed to create the header for the doorway. That gets supported on both sides by 2x4s and holds the stud that I cut from falling down, and theoretically keeps the weight on that stud supported as well. I wanted the floor to run smoothly from my room to the closet, so I had to put something on top of the subfloor. Fortunately, I had some material that was a fairly close match to the floorboards. I have to refinish most of my floors anyway, so I expect when I do that the difference will be even less visible. All that remains now is trimming everything out. I had only a limited supply of wood that looked close to the trim in the room. I had actually pulled it out of the closet, so I used it on the side of the door. 
On the right side, I ended up using two boards because I didn't have a single board long enough. Unfortunately, I either lost a bunch of footage or just completely forgot to film the remaining parts of the project. I know I didn't film building the door because that was super basic and boring, but I would have thought I'd film installing the track and finishing off the trim. The sliding door hardware was the most expensive part of this project, but it was worth it. The door slides smoothly open and closed and looks really nice. I'll end up staining and sealing it at some point, but it was November when I was working on this and not really good weather for staining stuff. In spring I'll have to take it all apart and bring it outside and stain it with some fruit wood stain. If you watched my computer desk build video, it's the same stain that I used on that. With this project completed, I was able to turn the much smaller closet in my bedroom into a sound booth, which is why I'm recording the audio for this video right now. Thanks for watching, and if you ever take it upon yourself to do something like this, please be safe and do your homework. There could be nothing worse than making your house collapse because you pulled out the one nail that held everything together.